this video, I'm going to use Wago's eCockpit software and its network configurator to set up a PFC controller as a Modbus master. Um, we're going to run through two different examples. Number one, we're going to add a Wago field bus coupler from the product catalog, add some I.O. modules, and we'll deploy that uh, in our program. In the second example, we'll use a generic Modbus slave. We'll still point that to the uh, field bus coupler, but we'll practice setting up um, individual registers for a third-party device. So uh, if you have hardware, please follow along and let's get started. We're going to start by creating an example project with the 750-8202 controller. This will be our main uh, Modbus master. We're going to add a 750-352 coupler as our Modbus device. We'll go into settings and set the IP address of each of these. Then we're going to double click on the coupler and we're just going to add some I.O. modules just like we would with local I.O. on the PLC. So we can select from our hardware catalog. Uh, we've got a 750-1504 16 channel digital output module and we also use a 750-469 2 channel uh, thermocouple input module. We'll address these in the table similar to how you would do this with local I.O. So we'll add a tag name uh, that we can then use in our project. We'll also add the thermocouple raw input um, which will be an integer value. Next we're going to go back to the network view and we need to wire these together in the network so we simply drag the Ethernet port from one to the other. Then we go to the configurator where we can actually trigger the mapping. If we go to each individual tag, right click, then you can click map. This creates the global tags in our project now. With all of that done we can now go navigate over and write a little bit of code to demonstrate. Like with projects in the past, the code doesn't really matter here for the demonstration. Um, all we're going to do is we're going to convert the uh, input from the thermocouple, which is degrees Celsius times 10, uh, as it's a whole number value. So we just need to convert that to Fahrenheit. So I'm going to divide it by 10. I'm going to multiply it by 1.8 and add 32, which is the conversion to Fahrenheit. Then we're just going to set a condition that if the temperature is over 80 degrees, then our output alarm will be true. Otherwise, our output alarm will be false. We'll compile it, and then we'll connect to the controller and download the code. And once we've downloaded, uh, we'll put this into run, and we'll have uh, good communications. You can see our value. And if I just hold this thermocouple, you'll see my output will go true once I hit 80 degrees. If I let go, it should also reset itself back to false. Okay, next let's do this with a generic Modbus slave. So we'll also, in this project, we'll add an 8202. We'll set the IP address. Then we're going to add a generic Modbus slave. We'll also have to set the IP address of this device as well. Now if I double click the Modbus slave, I can just right click on generic data tags and I can add a variable as I like. The difference here is I can select whether it's read or write, and I can select the registers in which I want to map this. So I'm just going to map the thermocouple uh, input word zero, and I'm also going to set my alarm as a boolean. Uh, I'm only going to write a single coil, and I'm going to do this from address 512, which is the address spelled out in the manual. Uh, similar to the pass process, I wire the network together and then I go to the configurator. And here I can just map all of the tags because I don't have all the other overhead. Once this is done, I can navigate back to my PLC PRG, and I won't even get into the code. In fact, I'm going to speed this video up so we can uh, just see the, the result. Once I've downloaded, you can see now, in a similar fashion, I hold my, out, my thermocouple and my output goes true. Working through this, if you have questions, please put them in the comments section below. Otherwise, subscribe, and thanks a lot for watching.